Patricia McNeely. I am a twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today I'm going to talk to you about the expansion of your light body at the universal level. Before I get started, there's something I'd like to share. This is something that I got uh, about a year ago. It's a, it's a fortune cookie. I keep it taped to my mirror. As a reminder, it says, Confessions of our faults is the next thing to innocence. And that is what we are returning to by connecting to the universal level and source level. Um, so my confession is, my first few videos that I had, I left the little plastic on over the lens on my webcam. Didn't even realize it until I had made three videos. So I had sort of a fog over me the whole day. And uh, there's my confession uh, showing my vulnerability. And that is what some of us are doing now, is showing our vulnerability as we expand and expand. Now, uh, your light body, for a lot of you, has been expanded out to you. You've also brought it back in while you've been making these connections to different uh, dimensions, you've been making it to the fifth dimension, sixth dimension. I covered some of this in my previous videos. Now what you're doing is you're connecting out to the universal level to the very first separation that you experienced from your twin. So you had this um, desire to experience form and to experience love in all its ways and non-love, the depth of non-love, the highs of the ultimate love, and everything in between. What you find, though, is that as we go back to first separation and we expand our bodies, there's a couple of things happening here. One being that we've got to this level of first separation for a lot of you, and you're connecting with soulmates or you're staying with soulmates or you're becoming some of some of your twins are becoming lovers with soulmates getting married why because once you left source and you first separated you couldn't see your twin anymore you couldn't feel but sometimes you felt that closest light sometimes the person who is a close soulmate actually is a very good friend who became a lover because they were the closest light to you. Because it is all about the love. You, the twin was seeking the love. Well, that love, there's a little bit found in that soulmate. It's still being found in that soulmate, but as we connect to our purity here, and you're becoming repurified, there are a lot of other things that are occurring. So as you're expanding and your chakras are each expanding, all of them are expanding, and your masculine parts and feminine parts are all being purged and scraped out and excavated and purified, you're becoming sealed in. So we have an effect for some of the twins where one counterpart will feel sort of sealed or numbed in or they'll feel like they're in their Merkaba. And the other twin may look like they're having a dandy old time out there at the fourth dimensional level uh, with a soulmate, either dating or possibly having relationships that don't last or even starting a family or having a child. Um, is this wrong? No, because at some level you have agreed to it. Is it agreeable here? Well, no, here... Here's the paradox that occurs. The paradoxical situation on Earth is that you need to merge with your twin, and in order to do that physically, you need to be with your twin. So you do need them. You do need them physically by your side, touching you, holding you, in order to do that. The proximity is a factor in this. So what you have is you have your body, which has become expanded, you have every part of you. You have your, uh, your inner etheric body. 
and you have your outer etheric body, your mental body, your emotional body, and these are all parts of you. Now, what happens a lot with um, each gender is they'll experience it differently. A lot of males will find that as they've expanded and connected their intelligence or their mental body to the universal mind, that they get these hyper awareness of things. There's a hyperactivity going on. Uh, some people call it ADHD, but you're receiving this information faster than your human physical body can process it. You can't write it down fast enough. You can't speak it fast enough because you've connected to the areas where we don't even use code. We don't use numbers. You've blown through the numbers and you're right at where we use the language of light. This is the true angelic language for every angelic and that's how we communicate. It's uh, a language of light and images and it's also uh, can be telepathic. For telepathy there is a connection necessary to be made for the uh, light language um, just being in proximity and your body will pick up the vibrations and the light waves. Your body picks it up and interprets it and then your head can pick it up. Now what does this mean for twin flames? Well you're the love. You're the love here. You are made from the love and you're here intended to be the love and make love together when you merge together. So you have right back to first separation you are returning to your innocence, your purity. You are being purified. And there's parts of you that are at the universal level that you feel. You have a Hara Chakra. Your Hara Chakra is about this far out from your body and it's all encompassing. Now there's something interesting that happens as you start to get to the other levels of connection. The grounding that you once had that forms your feet and your legs, actually you'll feel yourself contract to where you're sort of an orb and you'll start to feel that you have the possibility, the chakras for your wings will start to feel connected. The way that you feel this is on your wing bones. Now there is something that's occurring with every body that you have. There's something that's occurring with your emotional body. It's bringing your emotions into balance. There's something occurring with your mental body where your old file cabinet you were dragging around has gotten condensed and you're now connected to the universal mind. You don't need to carry all that knowledge around in your brain. In fact, for a lot of people, they're doing this through the connection of their medulla oblongata, which is your brainstem here. This runs the autonomous functions of your body, your breathing, your digestion, uh, your evacuation of food, any respiration, sweating. This is all still being run automatically for you. But you're, you're driving an antique vehicle while you have a Ferrari that's ready, getting ready to pop out here. And it's exciting and yet it's a little bit painful too. So the pain comes in where you have karma that is at the universal level. Your karma consists of some of the remaining balancing that needs to be done for your twin partnership or your twindom as I like to call it, your, your kingdom or your twindom. Your karma uh, might be things like car accidents or um, a job that's it just finishes but it looks like the door firmly closes. This triggers out all types of emotional occurrences with you. And what you'll find is that 
some twins, in order to continue on their ascension, have gotten rid of parts of themselves. They might have had a hysterectomy. And another one had something with their kidneys. And these are all valid, painful things that have happened to people. But we have had instances of miraculous recoveries from these. Does it mean that you do not function? No, it means that the dense part of you has left your body so that you can continue this connection. And having cleared this out, you're now being sealed in your purity. What this means for the twin that's still out there, maybe in relationships or dating or something like that, it means that they will no longer connect in the old ways. It's getting harder and harder and harder and less fulfilling for them. So there's a twofold thing going on here where a choice can be made by the one twin to yes, go back and be with their twin and just make the decision and just do it. But just because they haven't, it's still happening, but it's ha happening by this being taken away and that being taken away and this being healed and that being plugged into place. The expansion of your heart chakra at this level is huge. Your body is actually encompassed and held connected to source through the expansion of your entire light body. And it's through your heart. This is how you're navigating now. This is how you're making your judgment calls. It's through your heart. This is how you're practicing discernment. Now, what does this also mean for your Hara Chakra? Because as your Hara Chakra is getting cleaned and cleared out and purified and sealed, there are opportunities because sometimes soulmates show up that we knew right after first separation. And it takes a lot of strength and it takes a lot of um, knowledge of yourself and what you're doing and staying in your truth to not interact with them. And some of these people have held you in their thrall. Yes, they have. They've had um, little bits of desirous things. You know, maybe that person wears these shoes or that person is in a uniform or that person... Uh, just always seems to get their way or a simple smile from them. You know, why is it that a simple smile or a request or a certain tone of voice can just, you know, trigger these out? It's usually because they were one of the people that you first encountered after first separation and then they have now become sort of embedded in there in either you or your twin. Now, as this gets cleared out, you're pretty much freed up to be with your twin. This is one of the ways that the runners, or so-called runners, are returning is they will very naturally flow back to you because they're pure, the karma is done. Now, I had an interesting thing happen to me yesterday. I was in the car and I got tapped in the rear on the rear bumper by, a, as it turns out, a nice young man. But I sat in the car and I said, I just got hit. Got out of the car, went to him, and he got out and he said, you know, uh, I don't know, I think your bumper's okay. I said, did you know that you hit me? And I was all ready to do the principle of the thing. You know, I need to make him aware that he hit me. And as it turned out, I kept feeling in my heart, let it go, let it go, let it go. Now, this is where it becomes a struggle for some people, and they will say, well, I shouldn't let it go. I should get some insurance money, or I should do something, or it's the point. And you just have to go with your heart. So I actually uh, talked to him a minute. He was turning on his GPS. We were at a stoplight, and his foot slipped, and he, he bumped me. Two-mile-an-hour bump. Um, no damage done. Interestingly, I felt it right here on my feminine wing bone, my wing. So did that do something for me? Oh yeah, you bet it did. 
was I able to let it go? Yes. Why? Because I've been working on creating my template, my template of new relationship, how I am relating to people. And it's incorporated as a part of my body because I don't feel that fight or flight syndrome anymore or not with the intensity. It's relegated to when it's absolutely necessary. Is this a case of needing to fight or flee the scene? No, it's necessary to be the love, be in my heart. I shook his hand and I said, you know what? No hard feelings, no harm done. Have a nice day, I'm gonna go about my business. I actually did this. I wouldn't have been able to do that years ago. And if I had talked to someone, you know, a lot of us take a consensus. We'll call 10 people and tell them what happened. I didn't do that. Letting it go means letting it go right then and there in that moment. And this is how you keep your body clear and pure. It's staying in your childlike innocence of trusting that there was no bad intent. And really discerning what actually occurred and is it truthful. And letting it go. And it has to be this way with your twins. You help your twin with your love when you reach out to them through your heart in whatever way you do because your twins are sometimes struggling. They're, they're struggling with silly emotions. They're struggling with silly situations. Um, they're struggling with embarrassment. How am I going to break up this relationship? How am I going to do this? What are people going to say? And you have to tell them. We're, it's time to crack that ego stuff. It's time to be with me. It's time to be the love with me. I love you. Nobody's even interested in what's happening. If you break up or you tell a person or you break up the relationship, nobody really cares. At, at the core level, nobody really cares. Does that mean that you don't take care of any children and you don't provide for them? No. It does require accepting the karma that you've set into place by having the children and taking care of them, but doing it in an appropriate way. There are people that have religious hang-ups, and they've been told by their religion that their immortal soul will be damaged if they get a divorce, and this is an actual real fear to them. But you help your twin by going within and saying, we've dissolved that, and that's no longer the case. You, you, have, you are free to love. You're free to be with your true love. And then do the proper, appropriate things and steps to do this. You don't actually berate them. You, don't, uh, you still have to be the love, and you do it from here. You tell your twin energetically, I see where you're at. Meet me over here. This is where we want to be. We want to be back at where we first separated because we're going home to source. We're almost there. Our body is ready. Even if there's little things, I'll help you through it. Even if little emotional or mental things come up, I will help you through it. And I guarantee you that this balancing that we're doing accounts for quite a bit of manic depressive behavior, self-deprecating behavior, self-esteem issues, um, hyperactivity like ADHD, attention deficit, and some of the uh, expansion as we do it and we, you are expanding to heal all of this and you're pulling it into your bodies here to heal and bring it together in your heart. The healing is already occurring within your bodies and it's occurring in a very soft, gentle, progressive manner, you know, it, it, you could go to someone who can lay hands and hit you with a thunderbolt. For some of you, that's just no longer going to work because you're gradually healing as we go along here. You've been pulling it from source right into your physical body here. All right. Now, um, what has happened Sometimes when you have, you know, two twins, they've gotten rid of a lot of their physical ailments. And yet, it still can reoccur. You can still have another cycle. We're actually spinning 
in these cycles that are almost like concentric circles. You know, we've got the cosmic, we've got the earth, we've got the universal. I asked my guides once, I said, I, it occurred to me one day, I said, oh my gosh, when little babies come in and their spirits are integrating into their little infant body, and, you know, this takes a long time for the myelin sheathing to be ready, for all the nerve structure to be fully ready for them to even walk. And I said, uh, you know, this seems like we're having as hard a time as an infant. And they actually said to me, no, an infant actually has a harder time. It takes about four years for their spirit to be fully integrated into the body. Your spirit is already integrated into your body from the time you were born. What you're doing now is you're connecting with your soul and you're pulling all of the love of your entire soul in to your expanded body. So this is the expansion that's going on. You're expanding out to the universe, all gathering all the things, making all your connections, pulling it in to heal it or divest yourself of it or to keep it. Some of it you're going to keep. You want to keep your purity. You want to keep your love. Some of you will feel revirginized. And there's a, a difference between a male body and a female body as to how they perceive this. Females will many times feel revirginized. They will have changes in their menstrual cycle or it'll stop entirely. And that's entirely normal for us angelics. I don't want to tell you not to check with a medical doctor to ensure that you are healthy, but you will start to see some changes in your body. You'll see body changes that are in congruence with this and complementary to what we are doing. Males will sometimes feel pains that they've experienced because right after we separated, we did encounter other beings who were fascinated with who we were and decided to find out who we were, poke us, prod us. Uh, many of us sustained extensive uh, sexual abuse of our sacred sexual and our sexual areas. And there have been other beings that have wanted to know how we work, how can we hold this sacred uh, love within our bodies. And so everything's been made entirely new and pure and I don't want that to let you be afraid. You'll never be penetrated again, but part of that is being with your twin. You and your twin have to fully merge together so that you're impenetrable. You can still feel energies. A lot of what you're feeling now, though, is past stuff you, that is being relived. So for males in particular, it will be horrific things such as uh, castration, genital mutilation, circumcision. I've had a number of males contact me and say, I'm having these pains in my area. And if you do put some ice, check yourself medically to make sure that everything is okay with you physically. But many times it is an etheric, emotional, physical pain that your mental body is freaking out about. And it will pass. Um, many people have experienced anger at a parent, uh, particularly a mother, that why didn't she let me make this decision? Why was I mutilated at the time I was born? In some cultures, it's, it's normal for a male infant to become circumcised. And this has been winding up as we go back to our purity the realization is I have been wounded, I've been hurt. So males have had a fair amount of abuse over eons of time and they're being healed. For many of them, they're being healed uh, without there being a lot of talk about it simply so that we can get back to where we really want to be. So if you have a male counterpart, be patient and gentle and by all means, Trust that when you connect, that he's also made his connections to lift you up. And I will say that um, this is for heterosexual, gay, and lesbian twin flame couples because we come in all sexual orientations. 
tra- I will also say transgender. Um, many of the people of the transgender are from the seraphic lineage, but not always. We're all angelics. We all have to be kind and gentle and patient with each other, but especially ourselves. And getting angry, yes, we all get angry. But find the way to let it go. Trust that your clearing has made you a master at letting things go and moving along and re- remaining with detached compassion. Um, I do want to say that I've made some friends out there and I bought this. It is a calling card. And you see what it says. It says Clean and Clear USA and International. I bought this with the intent of calling some people, but when I brought it home, all it is actually told me, stick it on your wall, because we're going to hold the intention of clearing all the lines of communication, all of these connections, and I dare say, I've been feeling the results on other levels, and I will say that, I will use this card to call my friends, but for right now, it's doing a job on another level in the universal realm so you know again know that your body's getting expanded know that it's all for a great purpose and it is for returning home to source know that this is being done so that you can feel your twin you can breathe each other you will need to live eat and breathe each other you will need to be together and feel each other to feel All of your organs connect, all of your breathing connect, your voice, your eyes will merge with each other. Everything, this part, your tailbone, particularly your hara and your sacred sexual areas. If you've had knee problems, um, feet problems, those should be alleviated soon because those have to do with the original first separation and kind of what I'll call the taking of our innocence, where many of us were angelics that uh, people had to have. We were taken, kidnapped, and um, abused, and no more. We're no longer doing that. We're here on earth to heal all of this. This is a massive healing going on. It's affecting many, many angelic lineages, and yet we're here doing something entirely new. So remember to be kind and gentle with each other. And I'm going to say one more thing. This little um, thing that I did get, this was from a coffee sweetener. It says, I don't know if you can see it there. It says it's sweet to be important, but it's important to be sweet. And everyone love, might love to be the CEO of a company or the president or something like that. It is actually, when it comes to this, so important to focus on your sweetness and just being sweet yourself. And you'll find that there's good reason. Because in your light body, you can actually smell and taste what you can't hear at this level. You may, at times... You have a little bleed through of this. You smell your twin. You smell a flower that doesn't even exist here. It smells similar to roses or lilies or something like this. You taste something in your mouth. This is frequently your twin and you at another level. And this is letting you know that you've merged and that you are experiencing your multidimensionality. So have a wonderful day. Thank you again, and uh, until next time, remember to keep practicing the love. Bye now.